just over 100 miles from Super Bowl 51 in Orange, Texas. There are lasting memories of disbelief, pain, and loss. It was hard. You're part of something that you, you couldn't even imagine what that world was like, and now you're just, you're thrust into it, and you've got to find a way to make your way, you know, through that world. Matthew Trison. Hey, bud. It was like he had a personality from the beginning. You could see it in his eyes, and I think he came out with a little more hair than the rest. He smiled early. Madison, what do you think about your brother? I think he's cute. I love him. Uh, he would distinctly smile whenever you referred to him as a baby boy. Mm -hmm. So the smile was the very last thing that a moment that we shared. September 24th, 2008. What started out as a normal morning in the Bryant family home, Matt on his way to work, a member of the Buccaneers at the time, and Melissa waking her children for school, ended up being the most horrifying day of their lives. I went back inside to get the baby, and when I went to touch him and pick him up, he was so cold, I knew something was wrong. That's when Matt got a frantic call from Melissa. I don't remember the exact words. Obviously, I knew something was wrong. And then turning around and driving back to the house was probably, obviously, the longest drive you can imagine. It was later determined that Trison had died from Sudden Infant Death Syndrome, otherwise known as SIDS. I was upset with myself a bunch because I felt like he had to go through such a troubling experience by himself. And I couldn't be there with him. Realizing that this life of this person that you just held the night before was no longer there. There's no way to explain the loss that you feel or the hurt. He was gone. Two days after Trison's death, Buccaneers owner Malcolm Glazier and his wife Linda flew the Bryant family to Southeast Texas, where Trison was laid to rest. I can't describe the, the way you think as a mother seeing your child lay in a casket. There's just, there is nothing in life that prepares you for that. Or seeing your, your family um, lose a part of them. The thing that's always stayed in my mind was the last thing that I saw, and that was his smile. And knowing, knowing that, you know, my last conversation with him, you know, he knew that, you know, he was my baby boy. At the time of Trison's death, the Buccaneers were preparing for a home game against the Green Bay Packers. Head coach John Gruden quickly made it clear to Matt that the organization was behind him. Don't even, don't even think about coming back. You're our kicker, we love you. Um, we'll do the best we can without you. But you go take care of Melissa, you go take care of your family, and take time to grieve. Part of me was wanting to play simply because if I didn't play, then another guy would have to been cut in order to make room for them to bring another kicker on to, uh, to play in that game. And I know how hard it is to get into this business and what each game meant to me. So I didn't want to, I didn't want to cut somebody else's dream out for a game. Also that day was a chance to recognize Trison. So after every kick, you know, I would, I would blow a kiss to him in heaven. Matt kicked three field goals that day, helping the Buccaneers beat the Packers 30 to 21. When they hugged you, everybody, all of our family, it was like we were inside of that hug. 
This June, Trison would have been nine years old. Every year on his birthday, the Bride family honors his memory with what has become a very special tradition. There was a red balloon at the funeral, so every year on his birthday, we let all of the children write a message to him on the balloon, and we release them, and it's kind of our little way of honoring him. If you guys could put a message in a red balloon this week and release it up to Trison, what would it say? I think it would just be that I wish you were here in this moment with us. And to smile. Like physically, he wouldn't hear to, to go on the ride that we've been on. He's still with us, and he's still been with me for every game, for every day of my life that he's been gone.